Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge summer birthday haul. So of course I want to show you all of the things I did get for my birthday this year. I turned 30. It is crazy. Um, but I've also been collecting some things from quite a few different stores. So I'm going to keep this intro very short because I'm losing natural light and I've got a lot of stuff to show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is from Box Lunch. I just have this one item and I got it because not only is it adorable, but I'm really hoping we'll get to go to California Adventure and Avengers Campus soon. So this is the Marvel Avengers Assemble Hero Pops and it has Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hulk as little ice cream pops, which I thought are precious. Now. This was $28.90. I got it in a small, thinking it'd be cute with some biker shorts. I was really going back and forth with this size or like an extra large because I know that is definitely the style right now is the really large tees with biker shorts, but I thought that would be cute even then with biker shorts or jean shorts. So I just went ahead and got small. Um, moving on to Costco. I'm fairly certain I have replaced the entirety of my pajamas with Costco pajamas, and this one is no exception. This is a set I did get for my birthday. It is Disney, Mickey, and Minnie short pajama set with pockets, and I'm going to hold it up the back here so you can see the model here front and back, and hopefully you can see the pattern a little bit closer. But got these for my birthday, and I absolutely love them. And then this was a set my mom just picked up for me on a trip that she went with her and Abel. Um, so not for my birthday specifically, but they had just gone for groceries and she saw the set and thought I would like them. They are by Eddie Bauer. It is a women's four piece sleep set that comes with a tank, a t-shirt, shorts and pants. And I really like these because you can mix and match. And I usually wear it exactly as the model shown. I like to do the t-shirt and the shorts with the tank top and the pants. So it's a really nice blush kind of baby pink with a fun teal, navy gray, and pink plaid um, as the coordinating pieces so you can kind of mix and match, which I just love. Moving on to Disney. Um, oh, I have Burlington. So let me actually show you Burlington real quick. I meant to show you this before the Costco stuff because I was trying to keep everything somewhat in order. I only got this one thing from Burlington. We had gone because my mom is looking for some travel items as we have a couple of vacations in the works and we've just been kind of hunting Burlington and TJ and stuff for different travel pouches and such. And I saw this bag by Betsy Johnson. It has its original retail tag for $72 and then the Burlington tag was for $27 but then it was marked on sale for $17.99 and I think it is really cute. I love the size. It is a crossbody. I love the gold detailing of the chain that kind of lays just across the front of it that adds some movement. Um, I really, really like this purse and I thought it's a good size for when I don't want to carry around um, my big stony clover over there. <laughs> so love that. Now on to Disney stuff. And I have quite a lot. I'm, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the ColourPop by Disney. They just released this Star Wars collection and I'm not going to do swatches of anything because I am not a makeup channel and there are tons of videos out there for you if you want a more professional opinion. Um, but I absolutely loved the illustration on the interior cover and then the color story of this is so beautiful. I especially love these tie-dye colors, Outer Rim and Space Pirate. I've really been having a fun time within the past couple of years experimenting with makeup and having color stories like this. This is a little darker for my taste um, generally on a day to day, but the blues and reds especially I think are really fun for holiday time. So I really liked that. And then I did pick up the two coordinating lip glosses in the collection. These are in the colors Elite and Imperial. Elite is the purple, Imperial is the pinky peach. And I think that these are perfect to add a little bit of shine to your look. Absolutely love that. Um, next thing from Disney I want to show you is bags. So 
Abel bought this one for me as an early birthday gift. We were shopping at Florida Mall, specifically in the store Pop Colt, and I saw this and fell in love. Toy Story, especially the fourth one, is by far not one of my favorite Pixar movies. I much prefer Monsters University, Luca, Turning Red, Coco. I mean, there are a lot of Pixar that I would rank higher, but something about this imagery, especially right here on the front, is so striking and beautiful to me. Woody is my husband's favorite character. I love that Woody and Bo Peep, it, then it kind of reminds me of him and I along right in front of this Ferris wheel. Um, I don't know, just something about the imagery. I absolutely loved this bag. This was $75.99. You also have on the back, oops, <laughs> on the back of the characters as well. So you've got Woody hugging Bullseye and Ham and Slinky and Rex. It's just, it's a really, really sweet bag. And again, if we get to go to California Adventure anytime soon, I would love to have this for um, Pixar area. Second bag I want to show you is this one. And this one I received for my birthday. So the sequin lounge flies, I think, are like 120 or something. They're getting crazy with how much they are. But this is the 50th iridescent sparkle. So it is a beautiful kind of opalescent pink purple shift with sequin front pocket, bow, and ears. But the back and the straps are not sequin. So when you're wearing it, it shouldn't rub against your clothing, which is really nice. I absolutely love that one as well. And to match, for my birthday as part of my birthday gifts. They got me the matching spirit jersey. I have been wanting this one since it released. I didn't love much of the 50th merch. A lot of it was like very dark. The dark navies, the blacks, and I'm definitely one that likes a lot of color. So I knew when this one came out, it was definitely one I wanted to add to my collection. I absolutely love the sequining down the entire sleeve as well as on the bottom half of the spirit jersey and where it says Walt Disney World across the back, it is entirely sequined. So um, absolutely love this one. This one is definitely, excuse me, <laughs> a warmer spirit jersey. It's got like fleece inside. So not one that can be worn really other than like January, February when it's really cold in Florida. So and cold by, you know, for Floridians means like 50 degrees. I know for a lot of people that's not very cold. Um, moving on to another spirit jersey. They released Main Street Electrical Parade stuff here, which I'm very thankful for because I do have a friend, Liz, out in California that I was gonna have her pick up some things for me. And I saw these at Magic Kingdom, so I, was, I did not need her to do that. Um, but you can see Mickey, leading the parade there on the front and then on the back you have Disneyland Main Street Electrical Parade 50th anniversary with Elliot on the back he is precious and this guy was I think these were 75 um, and I definitely tried it on because I managed to get deodorant on it and they haven't even worn it yet but hey at least I'm wearing deodorant I guess and then um, of course, I can't get the spear jersey and not the matching ears. Look at these ears. I opted not to get the lounge fly because I had just gotten the Toy Story one. Little did I know I was going to get the 50th anniversary one shortly thereafter. But because my collection is growing, I really am trying to be selective in the items that I'm adding to it just because I want to make sure what I have in my closet and in my life I'm actually really using. Um, and I thought that the ears and the spirit jersey were more than enough, especially since this parade is not even at Disney World. <laughs> so um, I, went, I did get the ears as well. And these are lounge flies, so these ones were 40. Y ears are usually 30, but there was a $10 upcharge because it's lounge fly. Then the, this piece I bought for myself when we went to Animal Kingdom a couple of weekends ago. I did post a picture with me in the Tree of Life wearing this, but I don't have a lot of Animal Kingdom items in my wardrobe and I really liked that his pants were animal print so I thought that that was a good Florida tank to have it's black it's a tank top it's pretty breathable it's good for when you're sweating it's really gross here guys in the summer 
<laughs> I'm just being honest. Last two things that are Disney that I got for my birthday were these two dress shop items. This first one is this Pixar jumpsuit. I thought again would look so cute with the Incredicoaster, like get a really cool picture with this. My Toy Story bag, the Incredicoaster behind me, I can just see it all in my head. Um, this one I did have to go up two sizes. So traditionally I am extra small to small, um, usually small on bottoms, but I had to go up to a medium for the bottoms to fit comfortably. So the top is a little bit big, but definitely still wearable. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys that reference if you're about my same height or build. Um, the way that this is structured, if you've got a little bit of a booty, you do need to size up. So I did that. And then this guy just came out and I am so obsessed. I love Orange Bird. I'm definitely a Florida girl. And they released this Orange Bird dress. It has ruffles down the front, comes with a really sweet belt to cinch in the waist. And I think whether you have crinoline on underneath or not, if you like wanted to wear this for Dapper Day or just wear this in your day-to-day -day life, this dress is precious. I'm gonna flip it around so the ruffles don't obstruct the pattern and kind of bring you in so you can see. It's green as a base. It's now got a lighter green orange bird outline and then some musical notes and orange wedges. It's really very sweet. So I absolutely love that. So grateful that I got that for my birthday. And they even got me the matching ears. I'm going to be fully orange birded out. These were from Flower and Garden this year. I really like the acrylic. I just ate dinner and my stomach is like digesting. It's making noise. Um, I really like the acrylic just because it's something different. And I think with citrus, lemon, oranges, things like that, you, it does have that kind of sheen to the interior of it. So I thought that that was very clever. There's a dog hair. Um, <laughs> but I absolutely love those. Last thing I want to show you from Disney before I move on to some other things I've got over here. In Marketplace Co-op, they sell the Bose Signature Candles. And I went ahead and picked up two because they retail for $23, but if you buy two, it knocks them down to $21 each. So you can save essentially $4 when you buy two. Um, so I went ahead and got Clover World. This is the scent of the Contemporary, which smells phenomenal. And then I did get Pineapple Whip, which is Dole Whip. So Clover World, Pineapple Whip. So excited to have these in my collection. I'm currently burning some candles I got from Costco. Um, but once I burn through those, I'm going to hop into those guys. Um, let me push some of this stuff out of the way and get like the next big load. So hang on just a second. Okay, so... Next up is Francesca's. My mom and I went to Francesca's on a Disney Springs shopping day um, on Sunday. So my birthday was on Saturday the 20th. No. <laughs> Saturday the 21st. And then on Sunday the 22nd, mom and I did some shopping at Disney Springs. One of the stores we hit was Francesca's. And I did stock up on some summer items. So the first one is this sweet little crop top. Blue, white polka dot little bow tie up here very similar to my stony clover one that i'm wearing right now um, and this guy was 40 dollars francesca's is definitely a boutique and then it's got the boutique prices this probably would be cheaper somewhere else but um, i definitely don't treat myself at francesca's hardly ever so it was fun to just kind of go in there and do a little bit of shopping the next one i got is this yellow ruffle yellow and white gingham ruffle crop, crop top. That is a lot of words to describe this little guy. Um, again, $40, but I absolutely love this. Perfect with little shorts, a denim skirt, and some white sneakers. I mean, I just think that you could totally dress these so many different ways. And then the last top I got was also, oh, this one was 46. Um, this is a little halter. So you can actually tuck this in and just wear it as a tube top because it is elasticated and would stay up pretty nicely, I think. Um, but I did like the look of it with the halter around your neck. But it just ruffles out at the bottom and it's a really pretty 
navy and kind of tealy and white and red flowers so perfect for fourth of july um any some of our travel coming up just good summer pieces but my favorite thing that i have ever purchased not only from there but i'm am i going to say ever i don't know i feel like if i were to design a dress or if a dress were to be like made for me it would be this dress um and so this is it it is blue and white gingham, very a la Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, but the neckline of it is a sweetheart neckline. You've got some white lacing or scalloping across the chest. It is a maxi length, but the back is completely open and just has a tie. I love a fun back. I'm sure if you guys have seen my haul videos before, you will know that I like really beautiful things and like interesting fun open backs tie backs anything like that this was 64 dollars very delicate um mom was in the changing room with me just kind of checking things out as i was trying things on and she said that and i totally agree everything in there is kind of like little and delicate and i just really like it we also picked up some jewelry um, and the only one that I have here that I want to show you is this ring. So my mom and I actually got matching rings. It's just a little elastic, stretchy pearl ring, um, but she got one too. So we have matching mommy daughter pearl rings. I thought that was super fun. This was like $18 or something. Um, moving on from Francesca's, I'm going to show you Marshall's. I have Marshall's, Target, and Vera Bradley, and then I'm done. I told you this is quite a lengthy haul <laughs> um, but I did pick up some palettes from Marshalls the first one is from Revolution it is watermelon breeze and this is what the inside looks like I just really liked these colors for summer I thought the pinks and the greens especially with my hazel eyes would be really fun to play with and then I picked up two from bh cosmetics avocado toast and mimosa these are ones that i see in people's like makeup collections or decluttering videos that i watch all the time that people never declutter and they rave about it's like one of the favorites in their collection so i thought that since i saw them they would be great to try so these come with 16 colors quite a bit more variety and again for somebody that has green eyes all of the greens i think are going to be really fun to play with and then the Mimosa palette has lots of pinks and oranges, just perfect summer colors. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with these, especially with a glass of Mimosa. Um, moving on, I did get four pieces yep, of clothing. Um, this Caution to the Wind brand I kind of just recently found and I'm absolutely loving it. I am definitely seeing a trend with kind of the 90s style, like the spaghetti strap items, halter tops coming back. This is just a pink and white floral. It ruches up here at the chest and maxi length is definitely my preferred length um, because I do carry my weight. Oops, this one was $17. <laughs> So much cheaper than Francesca's. Um, I do carry my weight in my bottom half. I'm definitely curvy on the bottom. So a lot of the mini dresses are especially mini on me because that fabric that would normally go straight down somebody has to go around my butt and down. So I just need more coverage back there. So a lot of those mini dresses are too short for my personal taste. I much prefer the maxi dress length. Um, this one is from Jessica Simpson. It's got... Um, padding in here which is really nice you don't have to wear a bra and some elastic or not elastic like rubberized um, lining there so it should stay up on your skin but it also is a kind of like a faux halter top because it looks like a halter but it actually ties more securely than just your neck you can see the two straps back there so this is a Jessica Simpson one as I said the pattern is perfect for summer beautiful kind of tropical floral pattern and this guy was $20. I'm trying to move quickly because I know I'm running on borrowed time with the light. 
This guy is from Caution to the Wind as well. I just thought this would be absolutely perfect for any cruise we have coming up. That was backwards, but it doesn't matter. It's the same front and back. It is a baby blue, white stripe. I love the little ruffle down there at the bottom below the chest. Again, maxi length, and then it's got another little ruffle here along the bottom, and this one was also $16.99. And then this one I thought, oh, I did not need this denim jacket, and it is gonna be entirely too hot to wear this for 4th of July, but how cute would this be on 4th of July? This was $39.99, but look at the embroidery of the stars. I absolutely love it. It goes all the way down the sleeves. I thought Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July, it's going to be way, way, way too hot in Florida. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's just so cute. I will find a way to wear this and not sweat, hopefully. Okay, moving on to Target. I only have a couple of things from Target. As I mentioned earlier, the big t-shirt and biker short trend is coming back strong. So I saw this one that says, what would Dolly do? I am trying to get myself to Dollywood. So... $15, this with some biker shorts, cute sneaks, a fanny in Dollywood. Yes, please. Also, if you guys are watching The Circle on Netflix, I will not spoil it for you, but this is a clue. Um, I'm a big Spice Girls fan. I actually did get to see them in concert when I was young, and so I love the 90s and 2000s resurgence that we're seeing. So when I saw this, I was like, Yes, please. It's got all of them. Posh, baby, sporty, ginger, and scary down at the bottom. All Spice Girls are represented. This t-shirt I think was also, oh, this one was 20. Is the other one 15? Yes, this was $5 more for the Spice Girls. I don't care. I paid it. I love it. And then the last thing I got from Target was from the Pride collection. I've actually already worn it, so it does not have the tag. I feel like this one was around 20. Um, but it is just a, again, spaghetti strap, a little shift dress. And this one I'm also seeing come back very 90s, very early 2000s, is like the mesh overlay. So it is so comfortable, so breathable. I did end up getting this in a small, and I could have gotten my true size in extra small. It is a little big, but I actually really like that because, again, it's disgusting here in Florida in the summertime. So to have that be a little bit breathable was really nice. All right, the very last thing, thank you for sticking with me, is Vera Bradley. So as I mentioned a couple of times now, um, we have a couple of cruises in the works, in the bank that we are working towards, and they released this Little Mermaid pattern a couple of months ago now, maybe a couple of weeks, a month ago now. It's been out for a while. A lot of it is sold out online. They are definitely running out of some pieces in stores at Springs. But I knew I had to pick up some stuff because it is too sweet to pass up. So mom got this beach tote. She actually had it embroidered to say vacation vibes. Um, and then as you can see here, it is a mesh drawstring. So it actually extends the bag this much, probably another six inches or so that you can put beach towels in here. Um, I mean, absolutely anything that you want to take to the beach. This guy will hold it. It is absolutely huge. Um, I don't know the prices on these. I spent a pretty penny at Vera Bradley. It's probably the most I've ever dropped in a store at one time, but I'm wanting to create a little like welcome cruise basket for my mother-in-law. So a lot of these I got duplicates of because one set is for me or my mom or the both of us to share, and then one is for her. So for example, this little thingamabobs carry. I got two of them, one for my mother-in-law, one for us, and I thought that this would be perfect to hold shampoo bottles, sunscreen, lotions, just anything travel, um, and this one was $40. That one does have a price. I did get these little passport holders. It says, put your best fin forward, and inside you've got room for your cards and your ID, as well as your passport, and there is a zip on the back that you can put some cash or some coins but i got three of those one for everybody all the females going on the cruise and this one i don't know how much it was oh right here 55 so see like 150 dollars right there Ugh. i did get her some flip-flops 
they were out of the Crocs. I really wanted the Crocs. I do not love Crocs usually, but I saw the Crocs in this pattern. I felt like I needed them and they didn't have them in my size, so it's fine. Um, I did get her a set of pajamas, so I got her the top, which has Ariel on the front, and that was $40. And then the bottoms were $50. And they have the all over print. So I thought she'd like to wear those in the cabin. And then the last thing that I got, this one was for me. I thought this little mini backpack would be perfect for the cruise. I don't need to be toting around a big lounge fly backpack because I, honestly, the only time I'm really gonna need to carry anything is when we're going off of the ship for excursions. And I probably will only need my wallet, my ID, passport, camera maybe phone you know like just the bare necessities so I felt like this would just be stunning um and it's a little snap top drawstring fabric backpack and in this print I just couldn't pass it up so I felt like I was talking a hundred miles a minute I know I was racing against the clock with the natural light and trying to get everything shown to you guys but I hope that you did enjoy I have had such an amazing past couple of weeks. I am so blessed. It makes me like teary-eyed when I just stop and think about how special I feel, how special my mom and my husband and our, our wonderful friends Tom and Josh made me feel on my actual birthday day, um, how blessed I am to have them all in my life. It makes me all teary. So um, it's just been really great and I'm very thankful um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. Bye.